afternoon we are making an appetizer. It's going to be a quick one. We're doing a squid ring soup up, which is an appetizer and also can be used as a soup. I have four to five um, shallots, depending on the size, medium size, that I've already sliced. And I have a pan that's been heated high with some of fresh olive oil. And now I have four chopped fresh garlic. Okay, pretty quick. Shallots do not take that long to cook because they're very tender and sweet. And now we're going to add a squid. I have two pounds of squid, which I cut all into um, rings and we're just going to add to our pan with our veggies. Stop here quick, it does not take that long to cook. And the last we have a cup and a half of sweet little great tomatoes. What I did to, so that they could pop I just made a little slit. Mix it all together. Saute it. The squids are already taken shape. Cooking pretty fast. When our tomatoes start popping, then you know that they're ready to go. We're going to do a little squeeze of fresh lemon and salt and pepper to your taste there's no measurements really on that same with the pepper you just saute it all together and now I'm going to add one cup of dry white wine Bring it all together. All our different spices in the wine are blending together and give it a nice flavor. You also get the natural juices from the squid rings. You can buy the rings here at Kyla's. You can also buy the whole squid that you can cut yourself to whatever size or whatever dish you would like to make with it. And last, we're going to add half a cup of tomato sauce. Bring it all together. It's a quick dish and also has a nice broth to it that you can dunk some bread. It smells really fresh and clean and good and garlicky. You don't want to overcook it because then your rings, your squid will become tough on you. And last is nice fresh basil. Don't chop it. Just chunk it up. Rip it and just put it into your dish. Bring it all together. The tomatoes have popped. That means the dish is done. This is what our soap box looks like. It's a nice appetizer. You can serve it individually. Should you get enough broth in there so that you can serve it with your bread. 
and your dish is done, ready to serve. Serve her with nice fresh peasant bread and you're all set, ready to go. Enjoy it.